Low again. Based on their titles alone, some of our guests' favorite movies could be Vogue's Mannequin and Dress to Kill. The watchdog of female celebrity fashions, he is the critical and witty Mr. Blackwell. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Mr. Blackwell, Richard Zelzer? Has no, it? I Rich, can't. No, Mr. Blackwell. Rich Richard Blackwell, formerly Sylvan Richard Zelzer. Zelzer. Yeah. That's a 19, nice. Yeah, it's 1935. Really? Yeah. That's a nice name. I like that name. That's a good. Bro Brooklyn, yeah. That's a real Brooklyn name, though. Yeah. Yes, it, I do like that name. It's a good name. Y you know, Skip. <laughs> Number one, I think it's generally known. Selzer was my mother's husband's name, who mm -hmm. I presumed over the years was my father. Right. Only after mom passed on did I really realize this man was, well, I knew it sooner, but uh -huh. not from her. Uh -huh. I realized he was not my father, and I sort of resented the name Selzer. But it took me through the road company of Dead End. It took me through little tough guys in Hollywood. It took me back to New York to work with Mayor LaGuardia ah. in a series called Why Children Come to Court. Uh -huh. And then the name changed. And then you came to Hollywood. No, I or was were you in, still I was in Hollywood at the time? Guys and S. several really? movies. As Selzer, then back to New York. And then back here. I see. And but, but Howard Hughes has something to do with your career, though. No, in between. In, in between? between? Oh, there was yeah. so much. Really? Dick Ellis. Right. Dick Ellis was born uh, ab about 1939. Mm -hmm. One of the first movies Rita Hayworth made. It was called Juvenile Court. It started Rita Cancino, which Span was the family name. Right, she's a Spanish dancer. And Paul Kelly. Right. And you know who was the lead dancer with the Cancino family? No. This, may, this may surprise you. Go ahead. Ida Lupino's sister. She was one of the most incredible dancers you've ever seen. Uh -huh. And then in 1939, I went back to New York, and I am proud to say I was the only man that Gypsy Rosalie ever let dance with her on a stage We're in a show called, I'm sorry to Go ahead. Here, in a show called Streets of Paris, uh -huh. produced by Michael Todd. As a matter of fact, that was Mike Todd's very first, very first production in New York. Uh -huh. He had been a Chicago boy, uh -huh. as you well know. Right, of course. And from that day forward, we were very close friends. Gypsy Rosalie. Kind and of lady. Michael. Come on. And, and, Michael. I, and Michael. What kind and Michael. of lady was Gypsy, though? God, what a great lady. I frightened, know. frightened, petrified. Really? Of men. Intimidated by men. She was totally safe. With you? No, 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 with, yeah. with stage, with the lights. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. But the minute she went into the audience, she had a very private sort of a life, and consequently, you know, she had one or two wonderful private affairs, and this is not a, a kiss and tell show. Right. But right. everyone knows. Uh -huh. And Gypsy became very petrified of men, uh -huh. because when she went to San Francisco right. and did her own show, if you recall, of at course. that time, she didn't want men. She wanted 90% women on her show. Mm -hmm. She did have me there twice, mm -hmm. and that was it. Mm -hmm. And then I became very close to June Havoc. These are, oh, these, these are great now, you ladies. These You're talking memories. about no, great no, ladies, no, legends. Yeah, but then June memories. Havoc and yeah. Rita Hayworth, I Lopinos, and all these people. These are thinking Rita about Hayworth. these when we talk. May West, and then let's think of May West. Oh. Even, even more, even more incredible, Marilyn Monroe. Really? Insight. What makes her so incredible, Mr. Blackwell? Everyone's so... Truth. Truth? Truth. Mm. A simple thing called human inner honesty. Today, people 
lie so viciously. Uh -huh. They're so plastic. Uh -huh. The Marilyn was was honest inside. She was desperate. She was lonely. Uh -huh. She was sad. She had a little girl locked in her brain. Uh -huh. And that little child screamed, screamed constantly to let me out. Uh -huh. And the only thing that went wrong, really wrong in Marilyn's life, right. they tried to make her her image. And there has never been, if you think of this, Skip, right. there's never been a sex image on the screen Sense. that died or lived happy. Name me one sex image. Carol Landis, uh -huh. Jean Hollow. They tried. Jean Carolyn, they tried with Jean. But oh, well, Jean had it tough. Tough, yes. She had it tough all the way. Right, right. Crawford. Uh -huh. Turn is still very much, thank right. God, alive but not happy. Now she isn't. Jane talking. Russell mm -hmm. could not exist, could not live with the image, that sex image that Howard Hughes constructed for right, her. Right, right. She couldn't live with it. She denied it. Uh -huh. Now these people that have to deny uh -huh. their images on the screen right. cannot be happy. And uh -huh. I get so mad. Mm -hmm. When people condemn a movie star who has given their soul, their guts, their stomach, yes. their life to a camera, uh -huh. to a script, and because something goes wrong in their life and they, they flare up and get excited, they're accused of being temperamental, uh -huh. bad people, tough to work with. They this like, is a lot of They baloney. love to make stars and they love to tear them down. Why do that? You want to hear something interesting? Yeah. Skip, honest. Yeah. Huh. You spend the first half of your life mm -hmm. proving something and winning. Right. Maybe winning. Right. You spend the second half of your life defending what you just proved. That's right. And the very gimmick, here's another thing to remember, the very gimmick that makes you a star. Right is the very gimmick, Skip, that, that, that destroys you. Uh-huh. I mean, if, if, I'll use myself. Right. Blackwell, acid, acerbic. You use truth, though. So you like the truth. Yeah, but all these gimmicks that people won't listen, they hear me, but they won't listen. They I... hear, but they don't listen, Skip. You think, you don't think they're listening? No, I, I think they're listening. They want to I be on your list, hear. though. Even, I'm telling you. I'm they, talking about the public. Okay, okay. I'm talking about the public. Even the public wants that. The public listens, yeah. but they don't hear. Okay. The women who make the list, 90% of them, right. adore right. being on that list. I mean, it's a terrific theatrical coup. Of course. Of course. This is a fabulous place in one day to get publicity all around the world. Uh -huh. I've got to tell you, Go ahead. the other day at a book signing, I, you right. know, the book. Right, you got a new book coming Mr. out. Mr. Blackwell's Worst, right. 30 Years right. of Fashion Fiascos. I was doing a book signing and some just horror of a, of a, of a woman came up to me angry. I mean, angry. Uh -huh. And she says to me, Blackwell, you wrote that book just to get publicity, didn't you? I said, no, madam. I wrote the book to keep it a secret. <laughs> then she says, well, you just wrote it to make money. Uh -huh. I mean, very angry at me about this. And I said, well, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Do you think I wrote the book to lose money? Mm -hmm. She said, well, why would you be so rude? I said, why is it rude uh -huh. to critique fashion? It's one of the arts. We critique painters. Dancers, singers, musicals, mm -hmm. plays, directors. Why is it so rude right. to critique the art of fashion, which has made a total, if I can use the word, yes. ass of course. out of the woman around the world? Right. Why is it Paris is telling us now, if you don't like it, baby, uh -huh. eat cake. Right, 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 right. If you don't like it, eat it. Uh -huh. Terrific. In the book, I have said everything to defend what I believe to be image right. to the American woman. 
I say that Madonna with her ice cream cones and the garter belt over the dress right. and the corset, terrific, terrific packaging she's, on stage. She's the greatest pageanter uh, there is. Terrific. She's the best. Terrific. She's her best PR, everything. Up there. Right. On stage. Yeah. Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, but don't bring this into the home. Yes. Don't bring this into a, a category called fashion. Right. It simply is not. Uh -huh. It's a terrific way to present yourself theatrically. Mm -hmm. And what about Prince? You saw what he did at the Emmys? Yes. Well, yes. You, uh, come on, guys. Yes, what yes, did he do? Yes. What did he do, Mr. Blackwell? First uh, of all, I want to ask you. Wait, it's I, so funny. He, he did what I wish I had the nerve to do myself. What was that? Well, he cut the back of his pants, oh, pants out, and, and he has the cutest rear end in time, I'm that. sure of that. Right. And the guy did all his spins and turns. Right, right. And there was this guy with an incredible-looking fanny. Uh -huh. I mean, the guy's got a great-looking rear right, end. Right, right, right. Now, this, yeah, this doesn't mean I, I'm not sitting there looking at, at Prince's rear end, but, right. I mean, if it's out there to look at, we're going to look. I wish I had one as good uh -huh. as that. I paid a lot of bucks for mine. He got his free. <laughs> How did Mr. Blackwell start at that list? The wonderful uh, list of uh, the worst and the best. You get the best because no one prints it. Oh, no one wants to print why it. Why don't they want to hear the best? People Come don't on. want good news, Skip. Don't you know people liked Bad to hear news. horror? The news, yeah. I love it when you die. When anyone on L.A. Street, I used to be on Los Angeles Street 35 years as a designer. Right. The big news is who died yesterday. And for three days, oh, what a shame. Oh. What a pity. It's the fourth day. Yes. What's his name? He died. The fifth day, someone else has to die to give you something to talk about. Someone has to fail. Right. If you have a fire, they did it. Yes. If you have a robbery, they did it. Yes. They want tragedy. They don't want to talk about nice things. They want to talk about that things that are controversial, that are acidy and arrogant. I once said some terrific things about some movie stars and the Queen of England. Right. I had made a trip to London. We called a press conference. And I decided, well, this time I'm going to be Mr. Terrific. Okay? Uh-huh. There they are, sitting out, holding court. And right. I'm standing there, and I go to the mic, and I have some wonderful, decent things to say about Her Majesty, and the royal family, right. omitting the fact that I thought a lot of them really needed help. Right. Okay. Do you know something? The press sat there like this, um, <laughs> going to sleep. Uh -huh. I was losing them. Right. So I finally said, well, to tell you the truth, uh -huh. I was just testing you. Uh -huh. I wanted to see if you were listening. The queen looks like <laughs> Right. Okay. Right away. Writing, writing, writing. Why don't you like the way she dresses? I told them. Why don't you like her hats? Right. I told them. Why don't you like the gloves she wears? I told them. And what were the headlines in the English press? What? America's acid big mouth tears down our royalty. How do you feel? Terrific. How do you feel when they use those words on, 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 in print? Big mouth acid, Mr. Blackwell. How do you take that within yourself? Uh, how I take it. How do you feel about that? I want to know. When how it first I came, it. really, how do you take that? Because it would hurt me. It really would hurt me. But evidently, I've got, I've got to back up, and I've got to say, well, Blackwell, I tell you what, you've said something. Right. You Go better ahead. take the flag back. Right. But you see, it's unwarranted when they come, and if they don't want to hear it, don't print it. If they don't want to hear it, don't come. True, true. But they are using the same shtick I'm using. Right. The only difference is, and I was the mother, I was the mother of negativity. I say the mother of it because I gave birth you to negativity. It. You certainly did. Uh, they want to use the very same gimmick on me that I, they think Reverse I was it. using I without, without credibility. Mm -hmm. But it was credible. Of course. When I first saw Let's say, well, let, let's take Barbara Streisand. Streisand. When she fell on the steps and her fanny went up in the uh -huh. air, I think it was 
many, many years ago. And I said it was a, it was a horror. It was the fashion fiasco right, of the year. Right. And she, she made the list. And the line was very simple. I simply said, I didn't mind her wearing a see-through outfit if there was anything worth seeing through to. Exactly. <laughs> but the very year I said Catherine Deneuve was one of the best dressed women in the world. Two people printed it. Uh huh. Who I have said who was the best dressed women of all time. One okay. woman. And they I don't bet you'll never guess who it is. The best dressed? Yeah. yeah, of all time. Who is she? Well, I I don't remember. Perfection. Perfection. Total perfection. You're gonna be very surprised. Not because she doesn't deserve it, but only because you would not have suspected I would have noticed. Right now, you mean? Now, now. before, before, and before, yeah. You yeah, like yeah. Princess Di, don't you? you I like love her. I love her now after six. I do not like her daytime clothes. Her daytime now. clothes. No, I don't like them. I love her after six, and I love her arrogance. Arrogance. Saying to the Queen, my dear, if you want to visit Queen Victoria's attic, honey, uh -huh. you do it. Yes. In the meantime, I have the heir to the throne. Yes. To just cool it, baby. But it's good to have arrogance if you know how I, to carry it. Am I right? Who's the Who's the best? Come on. Who is the best? Who's the best? I can't. I can't remember. I don't know. Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Yes, she is. This year, who moved up, moved over from awful to wonderful? This year. This year. Bette Midler. Did she really? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why is that, Mr. Have Barbara? you seen Bette with the new haircut, the new clothes? Have you seen her? No, I haven't seen her. Fabulous, she really. looks. No, no. She's dynamite. Is she really? Streisand you has always, never improved. You said if Streisand improves, you, you would stop no, no, the no, list. No, 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 you? no. Yes, no, you did. You no, said, no, no, no. I didn't say it that way. Let okay, me say it. Okay, how would you say it? I said if Pri <laughs> How did you say it? <laughs> if Streisand looks good yeah. three years in a row. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. I will give up the list. Would you really? Would you give up that list? Well, I promise, so I'd have to I do have it, to yeah. know. You did not answer me. How did you get that list started? Who suggested The best dressed list. Oh, the, the best and the worst. How did well, the worst, how, the worst and the best. The how truth about how the best started. Right. I needed publicity. Come on. No, it's the truth. In 1960. Right. Uh, American Weekly. Right. A Sunday supplement came to me and said, Mr. Blackwell, would you do an article, knowing I had been in show business. Right. Will you do an article on the 10 best and 10 worst in Hollywood. Right. That was the first, but not a list. Now, I think you have the picture Go here ahead. from 1960, which would be oh, very... Oh, yes. I'd love to see which it. Which is yes. interesting. I hope it's there. There it is. 60. Okay. Here, we're This is this part one. of 1960, and this was the beginning... This is the beginning. ...of what was to become a list, but this was not a list. I see. You see, this was yes. only yes. the feature article uh -huh. in the American Weekly. I see. In 1961, we held a press conference. Uh, I'm and seeing tried to Anna Magnani. Come on, that's my well, favorite. Well, read, read, read when I said. Anna Magnani. Yeah. I can't read that small, but boy, well, Anna Magnani. Will you give it a shot? Uh, no, I, uh, Anna Magnani. You give it a shot. Yeah. Anna Magnani and well, she uh, Shelley Winters. Oh, well, Come Shelley. On. Ne Shelley. Shelley never made it on. Uh, not Sh this year. But Shelley. No, I gave up Shelley. You gave up Shelley. She's she's terrific. She's great. I love her. Terrific gal. You know, she, she loves to be on your She says, I, she wants she says I want to be on your worst list. If you're not on it, she says people just... You're nobody. Yeah. Do you know Susan Summers that I saved her career? Do you know that Phyllis Diller only got mad at me when I took her off the list? Did she really? Yeah. I loved it. Phyllis called me up three times, hung uh -huh. up the phone. Phyllis called me up again and said, Mr. Blackwell? I said, yes. Yes. She said, this is Phyllis. I said, who? <laughs> she said, Phyllis. I said, Phyllis who, dear? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I knew. Right. So anyway, she said, Phyllis Diller, and all I want to know from you, Mr. Blackwell, is where did I go right? <laughs> that was all. It was very simple. That's funny. Very simple. 1971. Come on. This well, is we the go up 10 years. Ali McGraw, ten. You, you've got here who really, I mean, someone threw her off a gypsy caravan. I can't uh, believe. Who's that? Her, that's Ali McGraw. Ali there. McGraw. What, that's what an awful That's a dreadful thing. There's wonderful pictures in this book. Yes. Dinah Shore. Couple. Tell me about Dinah Shore. Oh, that poor thing. What is sad? Hopeless. Really? Hopeless. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you know what's, so, what's so amazing? I had a review uh -huh. in a local paper. Right. No, a good paper. I mean, the paper. Right. They said it was the worst book they ever read. You're kidding. I said, thank you. Uh -huh. How terrific of you. <laughs> because they said, we uh -huh. have never seen a book uh -huh. with uglier 
pictures. Uh -huh. Dummies, didn't they know this was a worst dressed book? Uh -huh. This was not intended to be a, a, a book of photographs done by Hurel, making right. glamour photographs. Now, last I was so grateful for it. Last night, you were at the, uh, they were honoring Miss Hollywood, Miss Debbie Reynolds. Debbie, was now, she Now, you're glancing out this whole arena. Come all on, right. seeing all these gowns, Mr. Yeah. Blackwell. All right, last night, Come my on, feeling? I want to know your feeling with these gowns. They were terrific. Some of them were great, weren't they? Skip, they were terrific. Really? Women have revolted. Women are saying, I want to be beautiful. Women are now dressing beautifully. They were, yeah. they Women were. are down to the floor. Yes. You know, there are, there are certain codes. Black tie, in my opinion, means formal gown. Right. To the floor. Right. I don't give a darn what the right. industry tells you. Black tie optional is another category. Yeah, exactly. Now, this means you can wear a short, formal, possibly uh -huh. strapless, mm -hmm. very dressy. Mm -hmm. Then there's a thing called dressy, which means you can go to an affair wearing a wonderful dinner suit right. or a very, very chic dinner dress. Right. And then there's casual or just business attire. Well, you wear, always wear, always wear a tie. Right, if by I was, all means. If you'd love to see event. women, very femme women, don't you? Women who look like they should dress like women. I like you, to see you women. You resent women who don't dress like women. Is I that right, Mr. I, I resent. I resent the intimidation by the industry. I don't resent the women. What do you mean by the? Uh, well, I don't. Know these women are intimidated. Like, well, fashion comes out with a statement. Right. Micro minis, balloon mini skirts, or or. Gypsy closer, right, hooker right, closer, right. whatever it might be, whatever Saint Laurent said, whatever LaCroix said, whatever anyone said, right. they will wear it even if they know it's ugly because they're so afraid uh -huh. that their peer group, the other woman sitting over there who couldn't give a, right. you know, a baker's dozen uh -huh. damn, who couldn't care less. Exactly. She's so afraid that woman isn't going to approve of her that she's got to wear what's in all of the fashion Bibles. There was a saying done by Coco Chanel. The best. I despise the word fashion. I love the word fashionable women. That's the word. That's the word. That's actually, actually the, the word. I love night, that word. I just gorgeous. adore it. They were I gorgeous. Adore it. Actually, you like to see you like to see women dress for men. I like women should dress for men, not like for themselves, just uh, for another woman. That's what's happening. Skip, isn't it? I like to see women dress for their own self-esteem. Self I want to see women look beautiful because mm -hmm. they want to. They they want to tell the world. Right. I am. I am. Beautiful. And I think it's a terrific thing to do. I, exactly. I see nothing wrong with telling a woman you're absolutely gorgeous. Exactly. exactly. And I love it, and I want to light her cigarette, and I uh -huh. want to put her on a pedestal. I want to open a door for I her. I think that's great. I want to make it all the things that's right. That's why they and use Mr. Blackwell, because you are, you are a mister. And that's what, the, that's what I like about you. Well. Dolly Parton, come on. Tell me about well, Dolly. Do Dolly, is an on. Dolly is very much like, like, like Marilyn was. Do you know that? Uh-huh. There's Dolly a, was really? And a lot like Jane Mansfield was. Oh, I like that. All, all three had the uh -huh. same childlike emotional uh -huh. attitude. Uh -huh. Dolly is dressing up in every fantasy idea she ever had as a baby, as a right. child. Right. As a child, she had nothing. She had no pretty clothes. They weren't well off. Uh -huh. She barely had the right clothes to put right, on. Right. So Dolly had fantasy. Mm -hmm. So when she grew up, uh -huh. all of this has become a cartoon of her fantasy. Right. So I simply commented that she looked like the Allegheny Mountains mm -hmm. covered in sequins. And <laughs> it wasn't really too bad a line. And of course, then we have the Elizabeth ten worst. Uh, yeah, okay. Is Elizabeth Taylor in the ten beds worst? No, uh, of, of, th of, of, of three decades, of yeah. But this year she this looked great. Did you like her this year? Yes, the, very the, much, except a couple yellow, of... No, I didn't like the yellow. The yellow gown. No, I didn't like it. That's what I want to ask you. No. Wait, I'm going to turn this a minute. No, I you didn't, didn't like, like it. it. No. I didn't like her playing Cinderella. 
That's what it was. I didn't like her being too. Scarlett O'Hara. That's what it was. But I mean, she's walking this guy down that she gave a bath to. Who made that gown anyway? Valentina. Valentina. It's a beautiful it's gown. It's a gorgeous gown. Gorgeous but not gown. For that particular moment. I mean, I got to tell you, I'd have looked better in it. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> no, I would. I'd tease it. <laughs> I just got, tease here, it. let's see this. This is the ten. This is the ten top worst, worst. three decades. Okay. Madonna, Sinead O'Connor, who is, who is uh, really a nightmare. You have Mia Farrow here. You have Shelley. Shelley Winters. Shelley made it. She loves Dolly it. Dolly Parton. Uh, you have uh, Streisand. Definitely. You uh -huh. have Elizabeth Taylor, you have Roseanne Barr, you have Cher, and you have the wonderful Queen of England. Those Roseanne are your Barr, ten. I want to come on. Let's talk about Roseanne Barr. I haven't got minute. much to say about you Roseanne. You don't? I don't know. I, I'll, I tell really I tell you why. I'll tell you why. Something isn't connecting. I think she's joking. I think she's laughing at everybody. I you really think, think she's laughing? I think she's having a fun with the American people. I don't in think the she's audience. having fun she, at all. I think yeah, she enjoys I think she's ripping, ripping it off. off everything that's it yes, I, I am agree. told on the set she is not one of the most wonderful creatures in the world to work with but then maybe it's tough on the set I don't know mm -hmm. but Roseanne is looking a little bit better a little better she's she's getting her act together but I want to see this act uh -huh. together yes as far as I'm concerned I'm not going to mention Roseanne again what does Never Madonna again. think of, uh, she loves you. She wants to be on that list. Madonna loves she it. She loves it. She loves yeah, it. I know yeah, she does. She does. She does huh? what, it, what would she think if I took her off the list? She would get so mad. You know what she said? Shelley Winter said she would get mad. She yeah. told me that. You know, you know what Madonna said? And I think it's terrific. Madonna said, of all the uncertainties uh -huh. in the world, uh -huh. things I cannot depend on, uh -huh. there's one thing I can depend on. That's making Mr. Blackwell's worst stress list. So, it's okay with That's me. That's great. Tell She's me, terrific. Tell me about terrific. your ten worst. Uh, the thirty-two years you've been. Thirty years of thirty years of the worst dressed women. Dressed women. This book is out right now. The fashion. Oh, I think it's a great book. It's a fun book. It is a it's fun a book. Smile a page, smile a page. And you know what? You got to read this book, but without being defensive. Uh -huh. Don't be defensive. En enjoy this realizing that I'm only critiquing Critique. the clothes they're wearing. Right, right. I'm not pulling down the stars. You're having fun, would you say, Mr. Blackwell, in life right now? Look back. Look. I'm, am I having fun? You're having fun, fun aren't you? You Skip. are. Let's see. Am Come I on. You fun? are having fun. Uh, you mean you've been in the business. You've, you've had a great life. I will have would more you say fun. Would you say you're having a good Fun right I'm now. going to have more. You're going to have more? Yeah, I want to go back Would to Broadway. Go ahead. I want to do cabaret. You do? I want my biography uh -huh. done, which will be done in about a year. I want to see this book very successful. Because right. uh -huh. it, it, it's 30 years of my life. And I also want to see the biography done, made into a movie, uh -huh. hopefully a play. And then I would like to go back to Broadway and do a Who would a you like to see? Part. Someone. Is there someone out there right now that you would like to see? No. No, right now, no. I don't think Looking so. back. I don't think there's anyone there. Right. I would prefer an unknown. Uh -huh. Because anyone who's a name, anybody, you're not going to believe it's Blackwell. So if we get a totally new face, mm -hmm. one that's been restored. Right. Tell me like about your face. <laughs> you had a face job.